Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, let's see uh, the regenerating battery. Uh, that, that's quite simple actually. Uh, I, I could have included that in the previous video itself, but you know. So if it is false here, uh, we can set the battery here. So if you see the logic is almost similar to uh, what we have did for the uh, stamina uh, stamina bar uh, in, in our uh, TPS series. So it's, it's the logic is almost similar to that. So we are again uh, doing a clamp. Zero two hundred. So this will regenerate the battery, and you can put the value like zero point zero one. And uh, when we are updating the battery percentage, we need to update the HUD also. Okay, so now the battery reduces. If we switch off, the battery battery percentage increases. If you can see. So this is one way of uh, adding your uh, batteries. The other one, uh, let me show that also. So on your head, first let's on the horizontal box and text. So this part is optional, uh, you can do it only if you want. Okay. Uh, we'll add a number here and let this be that count and set this to a variable. And on third person, we'll create a, we need to create a battery blueprint. So uh, I added a uh, battery mesh uh, from Sketchfab. So it's, it's just a simple one. So create a blueprint here, actor, pp underscore battery. So this is just a simple way of uh, uh, doing it, but if you have a good in inventory system already, you can integrate the battery part there itself. But I uh, just wanted to show uh, how, how you can do it. 
add a static mesh battery add the battery mesh here box collision Here, how to event graph on the box collision. I can let this be on the root. Okay, so So on the player character, uh, create a integer variable battery. So if it is true, then again player ref get battery set back. Set battery if it is true, then add one here. And then uh, we can destroy the actor. Destroy actor. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, it has picked, and I think uh, it has destroyed. So once this is picked up, uh, we can uh, set the battery count also here, uh, like uh, get the flashlight head reference and battery count. Okay, I haven't enabled this as variable, so enable that. Get the battery count. Then set text.
Okay. Okay. Now it's picked the battery. Okay. So the fourth one is not picking. So that's fine. So now on the player character, we need to add something to use the picked up batteries. But before that, uh, we'll add one more variable here, battery capacity. So let this be float and let me set a default value of 50 here. On the third person character, uh, again before that we need to add uh, the uh, input controls for that. Input action, IA, is battery. Then on the IMC, use battery and I'm using key U. Okay, this is fine. Now on your uh, player character. So star when it is started, check a branch. On the branch, uh, we need to check the check the flashlights uh, battery percentage. Get the flashlight actor. get battery if it is less than uh, we'll put it as 80 it is less than 80 then true if it is true then again branch get the battery count if it is greater than zero then Set the battery. Plus fifty. Since we have uh, updated the battery, we need to uh, set the value also. Uh, uh, we, we need to set the value of the progress bar so for that copy this and paste it here And once we have used, we have to set the battery. Battery minus one. And we have to update the battery uh, value also. Uh, for that, Copy this and 
Okay, so let's see. Okay, the light glows. Meanwhile, we'll pick the batteries. Okay, I've used two batteries now. Now, if I use the flashlight again, and I can pick the fourth battery. Okay, this looks good. And we still have the regenerative logic also. So, that also works. So, if you want, you can disable that. Thanks for watching. Bye.